Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Friday, January 27th, 2023 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I feel myself vibrating with the greatest power of the universe. And Venus in Pisces. So as of this recording, Venus has just shifted into Pisces and FYI, Venus will be at zero degrees through the day. Anytime we have a planet at zero degrees, it can feel a little wonky. And sometimes Venus at zero degrees can feel graceless. <laughs> like Dave Matthews play, is playing in my head. My grace is gone <laughs> is the song that's popping up in my head. And that's kind of what Venus at zero can feel like. But fear not, it will move on swiftly. Um, by the end of the day, we will have Venus online in Pisces. And Venus in Pisces is one of the most romantic placements of the universe. I'm going to take it that far. Venus in Pisces to me is what roomy verses feel like. And in fact, we don't have regular cards today. We just have a few roomy verses that I'm going to read to you to help us vibe with the most powerful vibration of the universe. And that, I believe is the power of creation in the universe. And that I believe is the power of love. So with Venus and Pisces, we all have the ability to have this energy like flowing through our veins, flowing through our essence. We remember what we are. <laughs> we remember our divine creational instant <laughs> and the power of love can fill us and fulfill us and move us. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the week, um, Venus in Pisces feels like that line from Rumi, we have fallen into a place where everything is music. Venus in Pisces, I know this is so abstract, but this can connect us into this energy, recognizing that all of us, in all of our hunger, in all of our desire, our truest desire is to, so interesting, to become one with the universe, to reunite as oneness in the universe. And even as I'm saying that, I'm hearing, well, you are. <laughs> you are that. We are that. But maybe it's the remembering of that or taking off the veils that make us feel like we are separate. So Venus and Pisces hungers for union. And a lot of that union comes through our desire to connect with another. And this is why it can fill up our own personal romantic feelings, our desire to connect, to unite, to be one with others in so many ways. This is more than just, you know, physical romance. It is union with friends, connection with friends, connection to nature, worship, of the divine love of our pets it's the oneness in everything and venus and pisces i believe reminds us that love wins <laughs> love has already won in fact the creation of the universe has already completed its whole thing and in this moment even as we're in the processing love has won and so we can remember that and again be filled with that and fulfilled with that now Venus in Pisces is not without its challenges. Every placement has its beauty, which this union and this romanticness is definitely beautiful. Um, and it has its challenges, right? <laughs> so Venus in Pisces in its divine ecstasy, the divine blissfulness of it can go too far. Whether the too far is in illusion um, or disillusion, the too far can be in anything pleasurable uh i just get an image of fish swimming you know in water swimming right up to a shark that can be the essence of pisces we're all one you love me shark is like i love you for dinner this is how we become one chomp um so <laughs> i just gotta look for that one <laughs> so circle of life is venus and pisces as well right um, but we have to bring our awareness with us in and through this because while we can be fulfilled with these romantic feelings of the world and the universe, 
there are still sharks out there. And so the Pisces in all of us needs to be aware of that energy. Um, so be aware, you know, chomp. Uh, <laughs> Stay tuned into your intuition to help guide you. This is where Venus and Pisces can be very strong if it's not so far in the bliss and the ecstasy of the oneness. So I guess this is where we need Virgo energy, right? We need a little Virgo to help us stay balanced in and through this. Is there anything else? I think just recognizing the going too far. Because again, Venus and Pisces can definitely go too far in the escapism. Pisces just wants to be, again, in the bliss of the oneness. And sometimes any of us can use uh, substances to do that. And we can go too far in this energy. So definitely be aware of that. I think the final thing is Venus and Pisces can also be unaware of some of the illusions that are still at play in the world done by sharks, right? <laughs> so sticking with that analogy. And so again, it's very important to bring your discernment with you. Hello, Virgo. Um, hello, balancing force of Virgo uh, to, help, to help keep us in our personal flow. I think that's the last thing. Pisces, Venus and Pisces in its desire for union can get pulled into others under toads and riptides and you want to stay strong in your flow because it's so important for each of us to bring forth our own personal vibration of the most powerful force of the universe so keep that all in mind but i'm so excited about these little roomy verses to bring you at the end so besides venus in pisces we're also going to have mercury square chiron so i mentioned this in yesterday's scope this is where we're still trying to sort through who we are versus who the world is telling us to be. And some of our wounds around this may come up and be kind of glaring in our face. This is a good thing because as this wounding shows up, we can recognize where we need to tend to ourselves, where we're falling short of honoring who we are in the world. Moon in Aries is supporting this. Oof, speaking of that gracelessness, Moon in Aries is going to be connecting to Pluto in a square in the afternoon. This is right around 1 p.m. Pacific time. Blah. That energy is not fun. <laughs> you may feel graceless and a little combative and feel some power, power moves, power and control energies coming up in and through that. But it will pass on. The moon will move into Taurus and Venus will move into one degree Pisces. And so by Friday evening, we're ready, ready to feel a little groovy. We're ready to feel the love again, uh, as long as you don't hold any of those grudges. <laughs> um, speaking of Pisces and the moon, the moon and uh, Venus in Pisces, moon and Taurus, Venus and Pisces will connect in the evening. So definitely some lovely lounging and lazy catting going on. So let us finish with these roomy verses that I pulled out of oh here it is pulled out of Rumi jewels of wisdom healing and guidance I was dead I became alive I was tears I became laughter the power of love arrived and made me everlasting power that is one your touch dazzles all creation Every particle is attracted to you, longing to unite and dwell in you. That is two. And the third one, as I looked for myself, I could not find me, for my body had become all soul in the tenderness of love. That is it. So hopefully those roomy verses can get you feeling the love vibration humming through you. And besides this, uh, I'm wrapping up my 2023 reading. So this is your last chance for a 2023 reading. You can always get other readings. We can always look at what's going on. But if you want that full experience, reach out to me. I also want to mention um, Guided with the Omens, or Guided by the Omens. <laughs> uh, they are uh, starting their journey of ascension in just a few days. It's such a wonderful program. Reach out to them. And Gaia Blooming has a code, GB23. I highly recommend it. Speaking of love for yourself. And besides all that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power. And 
honor your values. Namaste.